So you've read about the statue that kills you when you're not looking. You've read about the old man with the pocket dimension. You've read about the creature that doesn't want you to look at his face. You've read about Cain and Abel. You've read about God. You've read about the end of the world. And you've read about a squishy, orange, gelatinous thing that just wants to be friendly. And you read about how there used to be dragons. But you have never joined the SCP Wiki. You've thought about it, you've considered it, but you've never really been able to get around to doing it. Now, I did a guide a little while back, which was a you're wrong about how to join the SCP Wiki. And not too long after I made the guide, the SCP Wiki changed a few things and more recently changed yet another thing. So today we're gonna talk about how you are still probably wrong about joining the SCP Wiki. So first of all, uh, let's go over the first step. That's this screen right here. What to do is join Wikidot. Now I'm gonna throw up some things on the screen right now. You're going to need to use your email. You need to create a password. There's a whole normal process. You can also join via Facebook if you have a Facebook page. Uh, that could be some of the easy, I believe that's the easiest way to do it. But if you have an email address that you'd like to use, because a lot of younger people today don't use Facebook. I don't even use Facebook and I'm kind of getting old. But the thing is, <laughs> Wikidot is super broken right now. Now, this may not be true in the future, but since this is exclusionary, it won't matter if it's not true in the future. Like if they manage to fix the bugs, this way will still work. But right now, <laughs> as of this posting, if you use an email that is either Hotmail or contains any numbers or special characters, Wikidot will not send you your uh, confirmation email when you join. In order to join the SV Wiki, you have to first join uh, Wikidot. So this is a requirement for you to get there. So if you have a Hotmail address or you use, you know, uh, George6969420 as your email address, you're going to have to change it to something else. Create a new email address with Gmail. Gmail works fine. Um, and they don't really care about, you know, how many accounts you have. If you've already got a Gmail address with numbers and special characters like stars and ampersands and everything else, just create a new one with some sort of original, <laughs> wholly text-based email name. They're not too hard to come up with. But then after you've done that, there's some stuff you'll have to do on the actual SCP Wiki itself. Now, I'm gonna click through here and take a look at some stuff. Let's go to the main page. All right, user resources and the SCP community. There used to be a four new <laughs> users section, but they actually got rid of it and split it up into separate sections. Now, obviously the first thing you wanna click if you wanna understand things is the join this site button. It's got the information I just told you, but I, <laughs> I hear from plenty of people that they, you know, my emails didn't show up. Um, also, as far as I know, maybe because so many people complain about it, it's possible that sometimes the emails just don't go out. You can always try it again with a different email address, but it says right here on the page <laughs> that uh, you can't use an email address with numbers in it. It doesn't mention special characters, but special characters are still a no-go. Uh, or any Hotmail email addresses. No one knows why, by the way. Wikidot just doesn't work right. But go to join the site and you can read how to apply. First, you have got to read uh, the guide for newbies. You absolutely 100% have got to read the whole thing all the way through. There is um, something in the guide for newbies that you will need to put in your application when you decide to join the site. And I'll repeat that. It's very important. And people are going to be like, oh, it's not that. Remember that literally dozens, if not hundreds of people join the SCP Wiki every week. Trust me when I say that the information you need for your application, the pass code, or I should say the pass sentences that you're going to need are in the guide for newbies. They're there. Trust me. If you haven't found them, you're either skimming it, you somehow skipped it and need to read the whole thing all over again. Regardless, it's there. The dozens of other people who have successfully done it, they all found it. I'm only saying this because you constantly will get people who go, I can't find it and I'm getting, I literally, I can't find it and I'm getting discouraged. I don't think it exists. Are you sure it's there? Could you just tell me what it is? No, no, and no. None of those things are true and I'm not going to tell you what it is because that, well, it's not technically against site policy, but I'm sure that the site administration would be quite angry with me if I did. 
And they'd probably just change it anyway, so this would be completely invalid as a guide. Also, Wikidot has some problems with accepting or denying applications. If you run into any serious issues, you can go into the IRC chat. Yes, the website we work still uses just IRC. <laughs> go into the IRC chat, go uh, to the Site17 channel. You can find all this information on the pages as well. I'll make sure that there are links to the uh, join the site page, as well as a link to the front page of Wikidot, so that you can see exactly the stuff that I've uh, demonstrated on this uh, video. Also, I'll mention uh, last month, sometime in the middle of last month, uh, they added an additional requirement. You not only need the site passcode, which is in the guide for newbies, I'll say it again because it's very important that you look there for it and read the entire guide for newbies, but also now you have to state your exact age in your application. But do not include any other information other than the site passcode, which is a direct copy paste of this information and <laughs> your age. They actually, I believe they do like a font, like a, when they do the applications, they literally just do a word search to see if you've typed the Im information in properly. If you have, you get accepted. If you haven't, you don't get accepted. That's how it works. But yeah, the age thing actually caught me off guard because I didn't know that that was a requirement until I saw it on the page when I was uh, preparing for this video. Also, just a few rules. First, you have got to be over the age of 15 in order to join the SCP Wiki. There are no exceptions to this. If they find out that you're below the age of 15, they will kick you out and not allow you back in until you turn 15. If you're going to create a username for the SCP Wiki specifically, you can't use anything with like SCP in it, class D, or an SCP number. Don't name your account some SCP Foundation character that isn't yours. If they find out you've got one of those names, say you change your name after you join the SCP Wiki, they'll also reject your application if you apply with one. Don't join the SCP Wiki with more than one account. You only get one account because this is about voting mostly, than it, more than anything. And now you may want to get to posting. We'll talk a little bit about that before I close out the video. But mostly this is about voting. And if you have joined with more than one account, you could vote more than once. This is a problem because the SCP Wiki is all about, you know, how many upvotes do you have on your articles? The site itself is a non-roleplay environment. So if you want to act like the SCP Wiki is an actual governmental <laughs> website that somehow got out into the public, uh, it, don't act like that publicly. You can, you can have your own RPs if you want to, and even if you wanted to set up some stuff, I don't think there would be too big of an issue. But the Wiki, Wiki itself and the forums and all of the, everything is very much a writer space okay it's about writing fiction that is the whole point of it and finally if you want to post to the scp wiki you want to do more than just vote upvote the stuff you like if you want to post to the scp wiki you do not need to go through the green light process and i say this as someone who believes that first of all if you have access to good critique elsewhere get it do not use the forums if you do not have to they are overloaded, <laughs> they do a great job, but they do it, well I should say, they do as good a job as they possibly can with the volume that they're dealing with. But in the end, because of volume, and because of the fact that the quality of the critique they can give is lower because of that volume, the green light process is not the best way to get critique. It is a last ditch effort for people who have no other options. So if you know people in chat, or you know people on other forums or other communities that are also interested in writing, who can check your work behind you, and who have an idea of what the audience of the SCP Wiki wants to see right now, by the way. And the stuff that was written 10 years ago is the first stuff that you landed on, SCP-173 or the old man and all that stuff. What quality or not quality, there's a lot of people who will say it's bad or good or whatever, matters not because the audience on the SCP Wiki right now does not want those kinds of articles. So you need to read modern articles to understand what the audience wants. Do those things and you'll be fine. And those are just little extra tips after you've joined. The most important thing you can do on the SP Wiki is vote. If you see content, like for example, what I'm talking about right now, if you think that's not the way it should be, vote on new SCPs the way you think it should be. Encourage your friends to join the SCP Wiki who agree with you. Do not vote brigade. Do not say to people, hey, join the SCP Wiki so you can downvote this thing. But if you know people who agree with you on particular topics, Get them to join the SCP Wiki. If you believe a particular type of content should be promoted or, say, demoted off of the Wiki, you have a right as a consumer of that fiction to decide that in your voting. But you can't do any of that until you join. Importantly, 
if this video becomes so out of date that two as to be useless, which is possible because the stuff on the wiki is going to change over time. If it becomes useless, I'll make another one of these videos and I'll put outdated at the top of this one or yeah, at the top of this one, because that's what I did with the old video. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, I do a You're Wrong About video every Thursday. I do a Dank Memes from Site19 review uh, from the subreddit on every uh, other Tuesday. And uh, I, my other Tuesday episode is kind of free. I might be doing a little bit of uh, Secret Laboratory, a little bit of uh, it's just various stuff that I think people might enjoy. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. Then, if you'd really like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. Link will be in the description. Link will be at the end of this video. Link will be in the first comment on this video that I will uh, pin to make sure that you can see it. Join my Patreon like everybody here on the screen already has, including people like Manuel Noltorp and probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist who have both pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Tuesday.